Welcome to our Electrical Engineering YouTube channel. In this video, we will see a problem on Thevenin's theorem. To get the notes, you can visit this website link electrical-engineering.app. There you will find questions and answers, notes and MCQs and much more. The link of this website is in the video description. Question: Convert the following circuit into Thevenin's circuit across A and B. Here for this circuit, we have to find its Thevenin's equivalent circuit between terminal A and B. Solution First of all, we will take this circuit. Now next, we will find the value of RTH. So step number one is to find RTH. Now to find RTH, we have to remove remove RL. Now here in this circuit, since we have to find the Thevenin equivalent circuit across these two terminals, so this will be our RL that is load resistor. So remove RL and and turn off turn off all independent sources independent sources. So here, if we remove this load resistor RL, so now this will be our RTH, that is Thevenin's resistance. Now we have to turn off this voltage source and this voltage source. Now when we turn off a voltage source, that time it will be replaced by short circuit. And when we turn off current source, that time we have to replace that by open circuit. But here both are voltage source, that's why we are replacing them with short circuit. Now we can easily find the value of RTH. So here RTH is equal to, as we can see, this 4 ohm is in parallel with this 4 ohm because if we stretch this terminal from this side, so it will be like this. And here also, if we stretch this, it will be like this. So this 4 ohm and 4 ohm are connected in parallel. So here we can write 4 ohm parallel with 4 ohm. Now this will be 4 into 4 divided by 4 plus 4. Now we know that when they are same, so the equivalent will be half of it. So it will be simply 2 ohm. So RTH is equal to 2 ohm. Now we have found the value for RTH. Next step is to find the value of VTH. So step number two, to find VTH. Now to find VTH, again we have to remove RL and find VOC. Now this VOC is the open circuit voltage. So let's remove this RL and here we have to find the value of this VOC or we can directly write VTH because VTH is equal to VOC. Now to find this VTH first, first we need the value of current. Now let's say the current through this is as we can see here it is 12 volt and here it is 24 volt. So here we are assuming the direction of current like this let's say this is current I. Now we will apply KVL to this whole loop. First we will find the value of current I. Then we will find VTH. So apply KVL. KVL stands for Kirchhoff's voltage law. Let's say we are starting from this point. So it will be minus 24. Minus 24. Then here. According to the direction of this current, this will be positive, this will be negative, this will be positive and this will be negative. So minus 24 then plus 4i plus 4i then plus 4i then plus 12 is equal to 0. 
now the value of current i will be we can simply find so this will be minus 24 and this is plus 12 so this will be simply minus 12 then plus 4i plus 4i this will be 8i is equal to 0 we can take this on this side so it will be 8i is equal to 12 now i is equal to 12 divided by 8 so 12 divided by 8 is 1.5 ampere now we got the value of the current through this loop is 1.5 ampere now here we can apply let's say we will apply once more kvl let's say this is loop number one apply kvl to loop one now here we are applying kvl to find the value of vth let's say we are starting from this point so it will be minus vth so let's write minus vth then plus 4i plus 4i then plus 12 is equal to 0 plus 12 is equal to 0 now here we know the value of this current i so it is 1.5 ampere simply 1.5 then plus 12 is equal to 0 if we solve this it will be minus vth and this will be 4 multiplied with 1.5 plus 12 4 into 1.5 plus 12 and this is equal to 18 so plus 18 is equal to 0 now if we take this vth minus vth on right side it will be plus vth so simply we can write vth is equal to 18 volt now we got the value of vth and we also got the value of rth so we can draw thevenin equivalent circuit so thevenin equivalent circuit will be this will be our vth which is equal to vth is equal to 18 volt now this will be our rth and rth is equal to 2 ohm and this will be our load resistor rl this is our load resistor rl and the value of RL is 6 ohm. Now this is plus, this is minus. So this is our Thevenin. Thevenin's equivalent circuit. Now what is the question? Here we can see, convert the following circuit into Thevenin's circuit across A and B so we have to find Thevenin equivalent circuit between terminal A and B and this is our final answer don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel and also to get the notes questions and answers and MCQs you can visit this website link thanks for watching